been a long day. You want to race? Do you want to lose again? Whatever happens, happens. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. Well, I guess it happened again, didn't it? Oh, doo doo. It's all the bike's fault. Not fair. No! If I want to graph, make an equation out of this, equation would be y equals to negative, since a is 18, b 18, be a sine graph because the graph goes up and down, the height changes. We don't start from the maximum, so it can't be a coast graph, it's going to be a sine graph. And k is 300. And there's going to be D because since it took like only 6.2 seconds to accelerate and come to a constant speed K will be 6.2 and the C in this case would be the axis of curve which is going to be 27 if this is a G sign equation then I lost, I lost the race so my equation would be same Except the period and the acceleration time so my equation would be negative 18 sine and I was when I became consistent I was paddling at 1.5 seconds every cycle which is slower than his so if you do 360 divided by 1.5 seconds you get 240 and theta I took 7.1 seconds to become consistent and the axis of curve would be also the same. Alright, so if I want to beat him in the race, I have to pedal faster than him, and I have to take less acceleration time. So if he accelerates, he only takes 6.2 seconds to accelerate, I have to take like 5.9 seconds to accelerate. So my acceleration time, about 5.9 seconds, and my period, if I have to beat him, my period should be like about one second per one second per cycle. So my aim would be like to if my future equation would be like nineteen, I mean negative eighteen sine. So three sixty divided by one would be three sixty. So k would still still say three sixty. Theta minus my acceleration time is 5.9, so it's going to be 5.9. And the axis of curve will also stay the same. So this is my goal. I have to reach there to be the G-San. This is how long it took him to accelerate and come to a constant speed, 6.2 seconds. And from here, his graph became periodic from here to here. And he finished the race in like 11.2 seconds. For me, I took from here to like 7.1 seconds. That's more than him. And then from here I became periodic 
and my graph, I mean, I finished the race in like 13 seconds, which is why I lost. And if I want to win, I have to accelerate faster and finish and come to a constant speed in like 5.9 seconds. And then from here, I become periodic. And this way, I'll finish the race in like 10.2 seconds, which is faster than him. And I'll win. Time to win. Yo, Adi, my mathematical divergence were incorrect last time. You want to do it again? Trust me, I'll beat you this time. Don't worry, I'll beat you again. Thank you, Ms. Jaitnani, for teaching me sinusoidal functions. You helped me win the race. Yeah.